Welcome to D-Lab. This is an update on the Micronaut 2 project. So over the past few weeks, I've been redesigning the Micronaut. Now we have the Micronaut 2. I already released a video showing a demonstration of how this unit operates. Now I've completed the artwork on the front panels and unit number 2 is being built. Many hours have been invested. I'm trying to make this thing as user-friendly as possible and I think I'm there. So now I'll show you the improvements to the Micronaut. Here's a close-up look on the Micronaut 2. I've got all the graphics complete. Front panel looks great. I added these skirted knobs for the level adjustments. Also I added a high voltage indicator lamp. So this is a neon that's monitoring the plate voltage. So after you power down the unit you'll see that light fade out indicating that the plate voltage has discharged. Alright, so the project is really coming along well. I'm extremely happy with it. As a matter of fact, a company spotted the Micronaut in action a few weeks ago and they have emailed me and asked me to do some comparison testing on their brand of tubes. So that should be pretty cool. The other thing is, guys, is since I released the video, I've been getting a lot of inquiries about when will they be available. Will I supply schematics? Will it be a kit? Yes, that all will happen eventually. Right now, I'm having problems prioritizing my repair work against the design of the Micronaut, even though this is something I really want to happen. All right, so I'm going to take some clips from the previous video so you can see the capabilities of the Micronaut and see why this is such a great project for D-Lab Electronics. Let's see if it's microphonic. Oh yeah. And you can see down the scope. Isn't that nice? Let's check triode 2. Triode 2 does have some noise. You can hear it. But not as bad as side A, huh? Oh yeah. That's nice. 2. Oh. Listen to that like a little belt. Let me see it on the scope. Let's give it some more current, see if we can excite that even more. <laughs> so you can hear that leakage, and there it is on the scope. Obviously, you would not want to run that tube in your amplifier. All right, this is an old crusty Amperex. Obviously, very microphonic. So here's a new old stock EF86. There she is. So for the fun of it, let's hook up a looper and you can hear this tube actually play music. So if you want to help D-Lab move this project up the priority list, you can pitch in to the project by going to buymeaglassofwine.com. There's a little donation button. And even though it's all about wine, actually those funds go into these projects. Yes, I know this is a super niche project. I probably won't sell hundreds. I might only sell a handful, but I guarantee you these will be a key instrument in your audio repair shop. So get on my site, donate, and join the Freak Show.